your recording. Okay. A little bit of, a little bit of roll here. Uh, Chad Van Handel. Here. Alderman Johnson. Here. Uh, James Bloomrick is excused and Matt Schuler is here. Let's move to approving the agenda for the meeting today of the Community Development Block Grant Revolving Loan Fund Committee. Motion approved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Let's uh, do the minutes from our last meeting in December. Motion approved. Second. A motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right, we'll move to our regular business. We've just got one item today, which is Voyager Sourdough. And Wendy, why don't you kick this off? Because I know we've already done some stuff with Voyager Sourdough, so there must be just a little bit of a change here to chat through. So There is. Um, so they are um, nearing the completion of their build-out over there, and are getting kind of close to opening in the next month or so. I think it's next month. Is that when you're going to be opening? Grand opening to public uh, around tentatively March 5th. Okay, so in the next, so about a month out, um, they have uh, incurred some additional expenses that make sense for them to make that investment now while the construction is happening. And so they've, uh, they have a $20,000 shortfall. They have uh, negotiated with their um, landlord to cover half of it and are asking the revolving loan committee to cover the other half. So um, base company is covering, and you'll see the, um, current big house, uh, the new budget, so they're going to be getting $10,000 line of credit from base and they're asking for 10000 in additional funds. We would match our current funding would be the request from the providers. Um, in addition to the budget, there also is the equipment list is what we would be taking as a security and there is, um, since the equipment list is into 90 plus thousand, um, there's room in there, we're at 60,000, and so there's still um, enough room to be able to secure that with that um, ask. So um, that's the request today. Well, um, I would suggest we open up the floor, um, <coughs> just to be able to ask you a couple questions mm -hmm. and all that. Motion open the floor for interested parties. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Floor is open. We'd just love to hear from you. Um, well, one, hey, last time we got together, I think there's been a change in the ownership structure of the business. Yes. Yes. So we'd love to hear about that, and then just talk, walk us a little bit through, um, hey, what's happened, the surprises, or sure. what's new equipment, um, either way. But we just love to get an update on, so, hey, what's happening in the construction process and moving towards opening here. So last time that we were here, uh, we had. Uh, changed the ownership part the partnership um, when the 60,000 was approved from the city um, so that process ha took place in August um, and it was a difference of the direction and vision of the company between the two owners of Ben Cadman and Kevin McGillisse at the time and Ben and I had a vision to really take this to uh, a much larger scale than uh, the hobby side business that Kevin really had intended. Um, and then there were also some other things that had come up from a, a financial background point of view that, uh, that then put it in the situation for us to buy our partner out. Okay. So we did that at the end of August of 2019. And since then I've really stepped in uh, full more and more fully. I had all, all, always taken quite a large uh, part in the business um, and this gave also an opportunity for Ben and I to really together take this to the next level. So that was more of the part, what happened with the partnership. And since then, uh, we have just continued to grow the business, um, grow from a wholesale account perspective, grow from a customer uh, home orders and same with our retail out stores um, again still at current capacity and finding ways to bake longer hours earlier mornings uh, etc so uh, the build out started at the very beginning of December and this has been in my first time doing something like this so we did our absolute best on the budgeting side and then as the build out progressed there were various things that came up that um, we were looking at 
two two main aspects. How can we plan for growth and and question asking the contractors? Um, you know, if we do this now, what does that look like? And if we do this in one year, what does that look like? And all their response consistently was do it now. Um, and so one of the things that we've planned for is an additional mixer um, that requires additional electrical side of things. And um, then we also planned for some additional plumbing in different places. And those things were much more expensive than we understood. And then another addition that we really um, was significant to our budget is somewhat uh, extended, well, extending our service area. And the reason for that decision was that we really, we know our product. Uh, we really know that once someone sees the product and that there's this real visual aspect that is sells before you, you, know, you get the aroma of the bread and then you visually see those two things. And we knew it would be a shortcoming to our space if we didn't have um, extended countertop, beautiful pastry case, and just a service flow that made sense for a customer. And so those were very customer-focused decisions to help the business uh, really leverage our product. So that extension of our countertop also was a total of an $18,800 um, addition in total. And so what we plan to what we plan to do is just real uh, reallocate the funds that we had. So we, um, in terms of how we had planned to use the funds, so we can just kind of reallocate funding from other parties into the into the build outside, and then these funds over into equipment. So that's where we're at um, currently. It's all painted. Cabinetry starts today, and it's. Uh, Really, the most exciting thing we've ever done, to be honest. It's um, it's an amazing process seeing something that is in my mind's eye in a vision, and how it's coming to life. So it's um, we have to pinch ourselves at times. We're very excited and uh, feel very confident about our uh, forecast for this year and the team that we have. Uh, starting to line up just naturally, hope very organically. People are coming to us, and the right people are. And we haven't even asked to put a post out for hiring yet. So, um, yeah, we're feeling really good. So exciting! And so the the first loan has already started. We're underway with that, and it, and it's interest only. And I think we were six months interest only. How did we arrive at six months? Because honestly, what I'm thinking is, should we be doing 12, um, given that they're starting up? I think that was the ask of the, of the buyers okay. um, at the time. Um, but I don't think that there was much discussion about that. It was just a request, because they knew that they needed some time to yep. build and to move over and to get everything kind of situated. Um, and so we were also wanted to see them successful and that um, on day one have um, uh, everything start just because we knew that there was build-out time and yep. transition. But when did that start? Um, it started on um, November, no, I'm sorry, just the end of November, they made the first November day. Yeah, yeah, so we're two months, two months into a six month. Mm -hmm. And I think they're right on track with the build out and things of what we had okay. initially thought it was um, mid to late February, which is you know right right where yep. we were at. And but just forecasting. Yep. I mean, if you're looking at six months, so let's say that expires in March, mm -hmm. and you haven't, I'm, I'm presuming the market season is your busy season. Mm -hmm. So the market season hasn't even hit yet. So to Matt's point, yeah, might be nice to have a little more cushion. It would Do be you want us to consider that? <laughs> that would be amazing. Okay. Yes, please. Because you can only come back to revise the loan, what, three three times? I think that's what our call it. Actually, what I would suggest is refinancing the first loan and adding funds for the second loan. That way you have one payment, one term, okay. so it'd be one, one everything. Right loan. It would be one <coughs> new right refinance loan, and we could set new six months or whatever you wanted to do at that point. That would be my suggestion. 
just to make it easier mm -hmm. on accounting side and for them for paying versus side. creating a second loan. A secondary, loan. yes. Create one loan for seven. Okay. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> so it would totally avoid the the one strike, if you will, in terms yeah. of the the modification. Because we'd be refinancing. Okay. Got it. Strike is a negative word. I don't want <laughs> to come across that way. Yeah. But it would eliminate one of the opportunities for future. Right. I don't know. So, well, I guess maybe. So, so base companies is, are they adding to their line of credit or? They're adding to their loan amount. Okay. I mean, yeah. Okay. I didn't know there was there was like a landlord because loan and there was a line yeah. of credit. So okay. it says line of credit ten. And I don't know if that's still in there, but the landlord loan um, has been increased by ten. Okay. Right. So, just out of curiosity, uh, I mean, the interest rate that you're going to pay on that. Four point five. Yeah, I think it's 4.5. Yeah, I think they did send that over. I apologize for not adding it. And ours is 4. What's our loan balance like? We, at the end of December, $322,140.76. Approximately. <laughs> <laughs> From a staff perspective, I mean, is there any reason that we wouldn't consider this as? Uh, the 20000 once you go over the seventy thousand, because it's thirty-five thousand per employee, they would have to have another employee. Understood. Okay. So there's a second employee involved, which probably they could do. Um, but um, what's the other reason? I was oh, trying to save you the, half a point. Yeah, the other threshold is, and we could certainly look at that. But um, I also we can't be more than fifty percent of the project, and okay. I don't think we are. Um, when I figure out bank versus at twenty-nine. Basis at 19, at least hold this 36. So we could technically go to the whole 20 if that was the case. Looks up for that requirement. Unless you wanted to have two and a half employees required at that. I mean, that would. And they don't do a half, which is kind of too bad. They do yeah. a full. Yeah, so it's three. Yeah, so we have these. Yeah. And that's well, it's two for 70. Two for, but if we go with the extra 10,000, it would have we to have be a third. three full time employees. And then what time period is that that those employees? 18 months. Within the start of the loan term? Um, actually, um, we've decided that it's by occupancy. Uh, that's a crystal question. Okay. I think that they're willing to do by occupancy because they know that you're probably not going to have employees until you open your doors. Okay. And so once occupancy permit is issued, then she said that we, you would have 18 months to kick in at that point. So a year and a half to, um, to hire them. Is that within your business plan? Yes, definitely. And what happens if they don't meet that requirement? We work very hard to make sure that they meet that requirement. <laughs> very hard. Um, how would potentially make them pay the money back? There's um, a percentage per point that, that goes with it. With with so there's some penalties. So how confident are you that you would have <laughs> three? Three. Employees. three. Yeah. It's already approved it. I just to be honest, I would like to have Ben's input on that. Sure. Um, I do feel that that is in line with our forecast and business plan um, because two full time is in the plan by June. Mm -hmm. So that third um, within you know an additional if it is from occupancy then that would be within a 12 month period. That seems like absolutely, but um, that I would want Ben to. Sure. So I'm sometimes, just asking a so sometimes yeah. there's that balance of how expensive an employee is versus how much money you're having. So sometimes by $10,000, that employee is going to cost you more than $10,000. So mm -hmm. you have to yeah. plus and minus uh, that. And to answer your question, um, if the bar borrow fails to make available the number of positions to low moderate individuals, that is agreed to the interest rate for loan funds. Um, this agreement shall increase by a quarter percent per job that was not made available to the loan moderate individuals. But then we have to find out what how's going to do to us. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, it seems like a pretty low penalty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a low penalty, but then huddle step in and most likely there'll be a monitoring. Yeah, sure. Okay. Good. So it's better if we um, obviously abide by the rules, but. 
Yeah, it sounds like it's best to not do that today. Um, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Especially if you have been, well, yeah. They already had to get to employ or hire to employ the 60, 70 doesn't come over a threshold, so it's the same amount of employees. Yeah. So this has, keeps them still within the same path as we have. Right, okay, so. yeah. Okay, I'm good on the questions, thank you. And I am as well. Uh, yep. So if not, we'll just go back to the regular order of business. Motion to close the floor. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 We'll go back to regular order of business. Do we have a motion? I will make a motion to increase or do a refinance up to 70000 um, with a 12-month interest only period. Are we going to go to all 12 or with a 12-month interest only period? And what was the rest of the term? <laughs> four percent at four percent uh, with a total term of. So it'll be ten years. It's ten years. Ten years on What's in them? Yes. Okay, so right. twelve month interest only, and then nine years of payments, or twelve month, and then ten years of payments. A ten, just say ten month term. Okay, with a ten year term. Ten year. <laughs> <laughs> at 4%. And the UCC filing and personal guarantee okay. of the borrowers. Secured by UCC yep. filing, personal guarantee of the borrowers. And the equipment that's listed. <laughs> All those things. I will second that chat if you don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm done now. We have a motion. <laughs> I'm done. And a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. It is passed. You have a n oh no oh <laughs> no I forgot, I forgot about electronic. Please vote. Now we're electronically making it official. Unanimously approved. All right, perfect. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you we're all excited Thank um, you. to see, to taste, to smell, mm -hmm. <laughs> to drink the coffee. Yeah. Um, I love one of those espresso machines, but then I see they cost five grand. That's what we're going to appreciate theirs. Yeah, yeah that's exactly and, uh, right. Okay. <clears throat> yes, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. the city's support. It means a lot to us, and uh, we're excited to do this for the city too. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a great addition. I think you're in a great place, mm -hmm. uh, right? I think it fits really well with what's being built um, in that area as well, in that wonderful district um, yes. of our city. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we're all excited. Run. What's that? It's going to be really dangerous for yeah. right across the hall. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw the, the, the green olive loaf you guys came out with, and yeah. I missed the order deadline. So oh. <laughs> if you want to bring that back, <laughs> I'm sure it'll make a comeback. <laughs> Just got to keep people on their toes. Love it. It's cute. Yeah. Okay. Should we go into the revolving loan fund status report? All right. There's um, anything there that. So those uh, reports were sent out to you. Just an update on where we're at as of the end of December. Um, uh, I'll be making my yearly updates to the new system, um, and I sent out letters for. Tax purposes, so that's all done. Um, it's kind of just moving along. People are doing pretty good. We have a couple that we're working with, but the the, the loan so with Chef Champion mm -hmm. has occurred, and they are acquiring that property, or no? We are closing tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Are you really <laughs> okay? <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> there was. <laughs> I just haven't seen anything really going on, and so I just didn't know. They had to go you to some some city council meeting. <laughs> That's where the action's been going on. Has it? Yeah. Had to, well, um, for, the, for this project. Yeah, yeah. so there was some, um, it's a live work unit, yep. and so there's some special allowances being made for a, uh, a, a business <coughs> in a local neighborhood. Um, we think it's an addition to the neighborhood, and we like that, but there just there has to be weigh in from the neighbors and things like that. So sure. there's been a little extra process with that. Like public hearing. That's stuff right. Okay. And so it has been, um, there's been a, a bit of, um, uh, legalese that's been going sure. with that, but um, it looks like everybody has gotten their eyes on it and their T's crossed and we'll be closing at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, so the keys will be Did you hear anything from the neighborhood? 
No, they're all happy to have it. Yeah. I would think. I, I think the neighborhood believes. <laughs> There were a few people that came to the council meeting though that testified in favor of it, okay. which was nice. He went door to door, and you know. okay, yeah, that's, that's great. That's going to be a great addition. I also wanted to uh, make mention that I did talk to the um, Tarl and to Mark last night. Um, they have uh, worked with. Uh, we're still kind of working through some of the details, but um, they have worked with. Um, their lender to creatively figure out some things so the instead of paying the taxes all at the end of the year they've been able to split it between the January July time and have freed up some funds so he's become current with his other lender and um, the way that all the things are coming together that February should be when we get caught up so okay. they're working to get so we're working with the lender and with the providers to get everything back online okay so and there's a, a plan that's slowly evolving. And then, and then the Senate is one here is now officially known right as big yes. right now. Okay. Yep. So that's all the updates that I have on that. Well, there was, um, at the end of the year, obviously a, a, a big push to get some funds out the door. How successful were you with that? And Other than Chef Champions, I didn't have any other. Um, but now I have some loan applications, so um, we'll be working towards that again. But so translate for me if you could, like what, is, what does that mean in terms of impact to the program? Because wasn't there like an advantage if you got it out the door in terms of new funding coming in or how did that right, work? Right, right. So we didn't get that funding out, so we probably won't get it. I have, my ask is a little um, uh, weakened with asking for additional funds while we still have funds. So we'll focus on our funds that we have. So you're in the process of making the ask though for next year? Or um, later this year, because this is going to come like in October. Or something. Yeah, we probably will um, probably delegate that to other programs that need assistance because mm -hmm. ours has money in that. So okay. we get a certain amount of money allocated to the city, and then we try and figure out how to carefully disperse that all between all of our programs. And, and this my is the program, block grant funding, right? right? And okay. so our program has funding, mm -hmm. so. That probably will be allocated into other programs that. And it makes sense. Out. I just kind of want to. Like, say, that. maybe facade grant is empty, you know, it needs funding or whatever. Right. So, while we don't have a need right now, that will go to other programs that have need. Have so, requests. do we internally make the decision of how the block grant funding gets dispersed? We do. I should not have put that bread in my mouth before I. Just <laughs> <did it. laughs> That's a yes. Yeah, yeah because there's a subcommittee of RDA, right, that works with city staff on that. On the funding too. Sometime in the spring? Is that usually late spring? Um, yeah, actually, yeah, it's they're starting it now. Okay. Um, so to get the, we did the survey to find out what the community is looking at, and then um, it'll be a talk with the mayor to find out what his initiatives are, um, and then they'll get that program together. That usually takes a couple of months, and then it'll go to that committee yeah. um, for review and. Then you have to wait for HUD to actually tell us what we're getting because up until that point, it's all just well, we think we're going to get about what we got. It's all wishes at that point. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and HUD's timeline is HUD's timeline, and you never know what it is. And then once we get that, it would go to RDA for approval and then council. Um, I think, yeah, it goes to council. I don't know if it's in just a report. I don't know that part. I didn't know that something goes to council. Yeah. Some things that RDA does, those to councils, some things don't. Yes. And I've yet to, I don't think anybody's figured that out yet. That one does because then we just it work does have, the It does have many people um, helping give input about where those funds are going. This program has been really successful, so I think they have been very generous with keeping our, mm -hmm. our, our funds allocated in this direction. But if I don't need them, we'll focus on what we have. And until we do have a need, then we can make the ask. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Makes sense. Any other questions on no any questions? No. I think then we're ready to adjourn the meeting. Mm -hmm. Move to adjourn. A second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Great. Great. Quick and fast. Thank you. <laughs>